After kissing Baluchi, I'm going to call and make arrangements for dinner, Zhang Feng said softly. The phone was next to the sofa. He reached out and picked it up and started dialing. The call was to Xiao. Nas. Shauna often travels to Paris on business and has lived in Paris for several years. Of course she knows better than him and should know that the restaurant environment there is good. Hello? Boss. The phone call came from Xiaona's somewhat tired business. Zhang Feng said apologetically, Didn't I bother you? Without. Xiaona asked, Boss, it's so late. What's the matter with calling me? Different from Sunway, Xiaona is more like a strong professional woman who works in addition to work. Therefore, facing this female professional elite, Zhang Feng is not only reassured but also admired. Well, I would like to ask if you know of any better high-end restaurants with good taste in Paris. Zhang Feng asked. High-end restaurant? Xiaona on the other end of the phone obviously didn't expect that Zhang Feng would have dinner at this time. After thinking for a while, he replied, I know there is one. On the Champs Elysee Avenue and at the intersection of Marinan Street, there is the Silver Tower Restaurant, considered a top restaurant in Paris. It has a history of more than 400 years and is very humanistic, but the price is relatively high. However, I think this is not a problem for you, the boss. At the end, Xiaona made a rare joke with Jiang Feng. Since you know, then help me book a seat for three people. I will go directly there in a moment. Remember that the environment must be good, so just use the name of the company. Jiang Feng arranged the arrangement very rudely. This was his first time in Paris, so how could he know the location? Since Xiaona knew about it, she would naturally leave this problem to her. For Zhang Feng, the hands-off shopkeeper, he had no idea what the location was. Xiaona herself is also used to it. She has been indoctrinated by her good sister Sun Wei. Okay, okay, I'll make arrangements. After hanging up the phone, the two of them didn't get tired of it. They washed up for a while, changed their clothes, and then, escorted by Yang Jiaming and others, got into the car arranged by the hotel and drove slowly into the street. On the way, they passed by a luxury brand at the square. Jiang Feng asked the driver to stop. Honey, I think you need to change your clothes and wear some jewelry. Jiang Feng smiled and pointed at Baluchi's clothes. The latter first glanced at the place Jiang Feng pointed to, then greeted him with pink fist and said charmingly and charmingly, It's all your fault. It wouldn't be like this if it weren't for you. So, didn't I bring you to buy it? Jiang. Feng got out of the car, behaved like a gentleman, and then said with a smile, Let's go, my beautiful princess. Hearing Jiang Feng call herself princess, Baluchi was very happy. For the sake of your sweet mouth, I will forgive you. After speaking, Baluchi's eyes flashed with golden light, and he looked at Cartier as if he were seeing jewelry. Jiang Feng shrugged and smiled lightly. No matter how beautiful a woman is, she has no resistance to luxury goods, especially jewelry and clothing. How could Cartier, the oldest jewelry brand on earth, not have a flagship store on the Champs Elysees? After Zhang Feng entered the store with her, he started to admire it and looked around. At this time, Zhang Feng was in the same mood. I was attracted by the jewelry. It was a set that included necklaces, bracelets, and earrings. The materials used were top quality white pearls and black pearls. It gave people a very visual impact. Zhang Feng was watching carefully from the side. She is beautiful, isn't she? I don't know when a very beautiful woman came to Jiang Feng's side. She was full of youthful atmosphere, with shawl golden hair, a delicate face, a perfect figure, and a tall figure. The most attractive thing was her pair of blue eyes, deep and charming, paired with well-fitting clothes. Everything looked so perfect. Yes, it's very charming but I don't know if I'll let you try it on in the store. Zhang Feng said politely. He didn't know who the woman he was with was, but there was someone around him today, so he couldn't pick up girls casually. Is your female companion here? I think the store will agree to try it on. The blonde beauty said with certainty. At this time, Baluchi also came to Zhang Feng's side. Dear, what's wrong? Although the person asking was Zhang Feng, a pair of eyes stared at the blonde beauty with vigilance. Baluchi knew that Jiang Feng had low resistance to beautiful women. After all, she had two sisters when she was in the United States. The blonde beauty clearly sensed Baluchi's hostility. 
She smiled slightly and extended her hand generously. Let me introduce you to the designer of this set of jewelry. My name is Sophia. The blonde beauty introduced her identity, but she did not tell the whole story. Her identity is not just a jewelry designer. Hearing this, Zhang Feng smiled slightly, stretched out his hand and shook hands with the blonde beauty in front of him. You okay? My name is Zhang Feng. I'm here with my girlfriend to buy some jewelry today. She looked very polite. Of course Zhang Feng could tell that something was wrong with Sophia. Jewelry designers cannot cultivate this kind of temperament. At this time, the manager of the store also came over and Sophia said to the waiter, Put this set of jewelry on, take it out and try it on the lady. Of course the service staff did not dare to disobey Sophia. He quickly took out the key and started to open the cabinet. Zhang Feng's eyes flickered slightly. It is impossible for an ordinary jewelry designer to make the manager of the store be so obedient. Sophia's identity is definitely not simple. Although he was thinking so in his heart, he didn't show it at all on his face. He was still smiling. With the help of the manager, Bellucci put on this set of jewelry, and his whole temperament changed. It turned out that Bellucci Chi gives people the impression of being charming, enchanting, and sexy. But after wearing this piece of jewelry, the sexiness index rises straight up. Every frown and smile is very beautiful. Coupled with that pair of clear and melancholy brown-green charming eyes, it is the ultimate her handsome face and slender and sexy figure make people dream of Fei Fei. Does this set of jewelry have a name? Jiang Feng asked. He had already decided to buy it. This set of jewelry is a perfect match for Baluchi. Charming. Sophia smiled, with appreciative eyes, looking at the charm necklace on Baluchi's neck, and said slowly, The natural pearls used in this set of jewelry are perfectly matched with 114 diamonds. The necklace made of it, it looks really good together. Sophia said this definitely not to promote this jewelry, but to let Jiang Feng understand more clearly. I want it. What's the price? Jiang Feng asked the price directly, and it was obvious that Baluchi also liked this set of jewelry very much. Half a million. The blonde beauty said it directly without being polite, looking at Jiang Feng with a smile. Jiang Feng smiled calmly. I bought it. After that, he directly wrote a check from Huifeng Bank and handed it to Sophia. Huifeng Bank now has branches through acquisitions, which is why Jiang Feng chose to get a check from Huifeng Bank. After that, Jiang Feng turning around and facing Baluchi, he said, My dear, put it on. Don't take it off. She belongs to you now. Baluchi nodded happily. When Jiang Feng heard the price, he bought it without even thinking about it. Baluchi saw it. Knowing that Jiang Feng really liked her, she was very happy in her heart. Sophia on the side was stunned for a moment and then laughed. Although several years have passed since the stock market crash in 1987, Europe has not fully recovered. There are fewer buyers for things like jewelry and luxury goods. The economy is weak. Life is a problem and how many people are willing to spend money to buy luxury goods. Usually, it is good to have two or three customers. And for those who buy, it is good to have one a day. Unexpectedly, today is approaching. It's closed. I met a customer who took his girlfriend to buy jewelry without blinking an eye. Needless to say, he was definitely a high roller. It's getting late. Let's go check out other stores. Zhang Feng took Baluchi's hand and said. Baluchi nodded. Then. The two of them visited Chanel, Dior, and other brands. They left at almost 9 o'clock and then came to the Silver Tower on the way to the restaurant. Bellucci told Sophie the address. The car stopped at the entrance of the restaurant and the bodyguards skillfully occupied various positions. Zhang Feng and Bellucci got out of the car, holding Bellucci's hand and heading towards walking inside. After telling the service staff the name of Jinxio Group, the two of them were taken in. This is a location on the third floor close to the window, where you can see the Champs Elysee Garden in the distance. The entire place there were not many people on the first floor, and the environment was quite good. The two of them didn't order food because Sophie hadn't arrived yet. They just ordered two cups of coffee and drank while waiting. After reporting their names to the waiter, Sophie was taken up. The third floor. Sophie has never been on it, but she knows that the third floor is reserved for the most expensive guests. Without a certain level of strength, you can't book it. Anyway, a star like her is not qualified. Oh, Baluchi, I haven't seen you for a few hours, 
and you have changed a lot. Sophie looked at Bellucci in front of her with surprise. The well-fitting designer clothes perfectly set off Bellucci's figure. This is not the most important thing. The most important thing was the jewelry on Bellucci, which attracted her deeply. The combination of black and white gave people a charming feeling. The value was definitely not low. Sophie was sure that Bellucci would never have this set when he went out. Jewelry, then there is only one possibility. That is the gift from the person next to her, and the jealousy is not without jealousy. Women, even if they are best friends or friends, have a desire to compare with each other. The word competition refers to women. Sophie, let me introduce to you. This is Jiang, my man, Jiang. This is for my good friend Sophie Marcel. After hearing Bellucci's introduction, Jiang Feng's doubts became clear. Just now he the blonde beauty in front of her felt a little familiar. It turned out to be Sophie Marceau. Sophie was also surprised. She didn't expect Bellucci to find an Asian man. Could it be that he was from the island country, or maybe from the Bangsi country? Hello, I am Jiang Feng. Hello Sophie Marceau. Jiang Feng shook hands with Sophie, and then each sat down. Jiang Feng, who sat down, nodded slightly to the waiter not far away. The waiter quickly came over and handed the menu in his hand to each of the three. One portion. Jiang Feng looked at the introduction casually and then said, A bottle of Romani Conti, he said directly without looking at the waiter's face. Romani Conti is the top red wine here. It's worth one franc. Bottle. The service staff was surprised, but quickly responded, Yes, sir. Sophie next to her looked surprised. The price of Roman Econi was on their list. This person looked at those who didn't look at it asked for a bottle first. Sure enough, the man Bellucci found was extraordinary. Bellucci was not surprised. She knew Jiang Feng. She also knew his financial resources. Afterwards, Jiang Feng ordered a few more signature dishes, all of which were very expensive, with the smallest portion costing 1,800 francs. After finishing, Jiang Feng handed the menu to Bellucci and Sophie in a gentlemanly manner, and motioned for the two women to order. With Jiang Feng's beginning, the two women were relatively generous when ordering. After a while, the waiter hurried away with the menu, because he found that the meal ordered by the guests at this table cost almost 100,000 francs. For the Silver Tower restaurant, definitely the customer with the highest price per table. Afterwards, the three of them chatted. While chatting, Sophie was also formally sizing up Jiang Feng. At first, she didn't pay much attention to Jiang Feng and just regarded him as an ordinary young man. Now it seems I underestimated him. Ordinary young masters would not be able to achieve this level. I don't know if the third floor is an independent kitchen or something. Anyway, the food was served very quickly. The three of them were talking while dining and enjoying the food. Then, I saw a blonde beauty led by a waiter to the third floor. Hey, what a coincidence. You are dining here too? Zhang Feng, who heard the voice, turned around and took a look. As soon as he recognized him, he stood up and said with a smile, What a coincidence, Sophia. You are here to dine too? Zhang Feng was very surprised. He didn't expect to meet this woman with both talent and beauty here. Sophia's identity is not simple. She is the eldest lady of Cartier Jewelry Company, but she is very independent. She has always insisted on working and studying during college. After graduating from university, she returned to work at the family business Cartier as a product designer. The set of jewelry Jiang Feng bought was her first work. The price of this set of jewelry was very high, and many people were discouraged, but Sophia did not lower the price. Moreover, acquaintances do not sell, and she believes that she will meet people who appreciate her works. However, she cannot sell them. She did not expect Jiang Feng. So she has a deep memory of Jiang Feng. Yes, what a coincidence. I didn't expect to meet Mr. Jiang here again. Sophia has a good sense of Jiang Feng. She thinks that Jiang Feng is willing to spend money for his girlfriend. If a man is willing to spend money for a woman, then he definitely loves this woman. Bellucci already knew Sophia and shook hands with Sophia politely. This was the first time for Sophie to see Sophia. The two introduced each other politely and everyone sat down in a friendly manner. Came down. Miss Soya Fei should be more than just a jewelry designer, right? After a few words of greeting, Jiang Feng took a sip from the red wine glass and said with a smile. Hearing this, Sophia said apologetically, 
Sorry. In fact, Cartier belongs to my family. Through conversation and conversation, Sophia knew that Zhang Feng was not an ordinary young master. When the waiter said just now that a guest from the Jinxiao group was dining on the third floor, she walked up curiously. Unexpectedly, it was. Zhang Feng. Zhang Feng, a flash of surprise flashed in his eyes. He didn't expect that the lady in front of him was the eldest lady of the Cartier company. This really surprised and surprised him. What was unexpected was that he didn't expect Sophia to have such a high status. He originally thought she was some kind of store manager or... The executives of Cartier did not expect that he was the boss of Cartier. To his surprise, the target of Jean Shio Group's visit to Europe this time was Cartier. After the global economic crisis, life is difficult for luxury brands around the world. Of course, no matter how difficult things are, it is still better than the previous two years. Some brands are better off being backed by large companies, such as the Pinot Group, which later became Kirin Group. There are also L'Oreal, Unilever, Richemont Group, etc., which have a wide range of businesses. Not only deals in cosmetics and luxury goods, but also supports other industries, so it has a high risk-taking ability. Unlike Cartier, it focuses on luxury products, and they are all high-end and extremely expensive. Of course, making money in peace and good economic times. Once the global economy is not in good shape and a stock market crash occurs, a simple luxury goods company like this cannot bear the risk at all. Otherwise, it would not be possible for a Cartier company to place an order worth half a million francs. The eldest lady Sophia is so engraved in my heart. To put it simply, Cartier is far less glorious than later generations. It is just a very high-end jewelry and jewelry brand in country F. The reason why Cartier can become the world's top luxury brand in later generations is actually mainly due to the Richemont Group with vigorous advertising and marketing. Of course, there is Cartier's own design skills. For Zhang Feng, he has a lot of money and is of no use in the bank. He might as well invest in acquisitions and take the opportunity to strengthen himself. He wants to become a giant in the industry. We need constant mergers and acquisitions. Only in this way is the shortest way. Disney LVMH This is true for Estee Lauder, Richemont Group, L'Oreal Group, and many other companies. After understanding the identity of the other party, the smile on Jiang Feng's face became much brighter. I would like to ask, what is the relationship between Mr. Jiang and Jinxiao Group? It was originally a very impolite behavior to inquire about other people's identities. But now that Jiang Feng had asked her, she couldn't help but want to know more about Jiang Feng and see if she could solve the family crisis. It doesn't matter much. Eh, I am the boss of Jinxiao. Feng stretched out his hand and said calmly. Even Baluchi couldn't help but roll his eyes at him. Doesn't it matter what you call it? Zhang Feng accepted the three women's strangeness calmly. A man? Can you do it without showing off? In fact, he didn't want to show off, but for some purpose, he needed an identity to attract Sophia's attention. Sophia came back to her senses and said with a smile, I didn't expect Mr. Jiang to be the boss of Jinxiao Group, etc. Sophia suddenly opened her eyes wide, as if thinking of something. She looked at Jiang Feng in shock. The surname is Jiang. He is also the boss of Jinxiao Group. Could it be the legendary rich man from Dasha reported in Fortune magazine? Right. It must be him. Aren't Dasha people Asian? Thinking of this, Sophia took a breath of air. He looked at Jiang Feng with a hint of respect. Sophia stood up, saluted, and then said slowly, I didn't expect it was Mr. Jiang Feng. I'm sorry that I was blind and couldn't recognize him. Please forgive me. This is how society is. As long as you are strong, no matter in Dashia or anywhere in the world, as long as you are strong, you can gain respect from people. Jiang Feng smiled slightly and said, Miss Sophia is serious. Please take a seat quickly. Sophie on the side looked at Sophia, the eldest lady of Cartier Company, being so respectful and secretly murmured, Does Bellucci's boyfriend have a great background? Sophie didn't pay much attention to Fortune magazine, so naturally she didn't know that there was a person like Jiang Feng. The four of them communicated for a while, and when they saw that the time was almost up, they got up and left. Before leaving, the manager and chef of Inta Hotel personally saw off Jiang Feng and the others. Nice to meet you, Miss Sophia. Jiang Feng greeted Sophia. Now it's time to say goodbye. When he goes back later, 
It will be his and Baluchi's two-person world. Me too. Nice to meet you. Sophia shook hands with Jiang Feng with a smile, then took out a business card and handed it to Jiang Feng. Mr. Jiang, this is my business card. You can find me when you come to Paris in the future. Jiang Feng smiled slightly and was not polite. The beauty gave her a business card, and it was a young lady from a top rich man with a beautiful face. How could Jiang Feng not accept it? He took the business card and put it in his pocket, then took out his own business card and handed it to Sophia. Sophia happily took the business card, then waved her hand, Goodbye. Goodbye. Zhang Feng waved his hand and said with a smile. On the other end, Baluchi had already finished talking to Sophie and then walked towards Zhang Feng. Zhang Feng nodded towards Sophie, then hugged Baluchi. We got into the Rolls Royce in the hotel. Looking at the fleet of cars going away, Sophie had a look of envy in her eyes. Then she walked to her DS car and drove slowly towards home. On this end, there were those who had returned home. There was a cloud and rain between the two of them. The next day, it's a bright-eyed day. According to the schedule, Jiang Feng and Xiao Na will go to the Chanel company today. Therefore, Jiang Feng woke up early. Even if I slept very late last night. Watching Jiang Feng get up. After washing, Baluchi walked out wrapped in a bath towel, went to the bathroom, hugged Jiang Feng from behind, pressed them tightly together, and rested his head on Jiang Feng's shoulder. Get up so early? Well, I have some business matters to discuss today. Jiang Feng turned around, held Baluchi's head, kissed him on the lips, and then said, I will arrange two bodyguards for you. And there is a check for two million francs on the bedside. Whatever you want, go with it. Bye. If anything happens, call me and tell me. It will definitely be inconvenient to bring Baluchi with you for Chanel's negotiation today. Baluchi also understood, nodded, and kissed Jiang Feng. It wasn't until they almost got into trouble that the two of them separated. Dong dong dong. Suddenly, there was a knock on the door. Jiang Feng said, I'm leaving. After saying that, he patted her tunics and left with a smile. Door. Xiaona watched Jiang Feng come out and rolled her eyes at him. Jiang Feng smiled and said, Let's go. Xiaona glanced into the room and saw Baluchi in his nightgown. She shook her head slightly and followed Jiang Feng. Chanel. The founder is, Chinese name, Gabriel Coco Chanel. It is a world-famous luxury brand that was founded in Paris, country F, in 1910. The brand has a wide range of products, including clothing, jewelry and accessories, cosmetics, skincare products, perfumes, etc. Each category of products is well-known, especially perfumes and fashion. Chanel is a famous brand with a history of nearly a century. Its fashion design always maintains an elegant, simple, and exquisite style. Coco Chanel is good at breaking through tradition, and as early as the 1940s, it successfully pushed the five-flowered women's clothing into simple and comfortable designs. But perfume is the most profitable product in the history of Chanel, which originated from the launch of Chanel No. 5 perfume in 1921. The bottle of No. 5 perfume is a glass bottle that can be called Art Deco. Chanel No. 5 is the first bottle of perfume named after a designer in history. Chanel's design has a distinct personal color. She pursues freedom but is attached to men. She is strong and independent but full of femininity. Chanel brand takes a high-end route, which is fashionable and simple, simple and comfortable, pure style, graceful and generous, youthful and beautiful. The Chanel brand provides liberating freedom and choice, transforming clothing design from a male perspective as the main trend to an independent stage for expressing female beauty and transforming women's essential needs into the connotation of the Chanel brand. If Gabrielle was still alive, Jiang Feng might not pay Chanel's attention. After all, Gabrielle is a famous working woman in Europe. Can a woman who has been entangled with the Widmore family for decades be a simple thing? She has never been married, and her career is more important than her marriage. Faced with such a strong woman, Chanel is not a listed company, so it is extremely difficult to acquire it. Fortunately, this iron lady in the perfume industry passed away 20 years ago. After losing Coco Chanel, the Chanel company seemed to have lost its soul and its business began to slump. Until the family behind this company controls, the Widmore family, the grandson of Pierre Widmore, Alain Widmore, took over the company and boldly hired the talented designer Karl Lagerfeld, 
which made Chanel go from depression to gradually becoming a leader in the fashion industry of F Country, one of the giants. The most important information here is that Alan Widmore, the man who discovered the talented designer Karl Lagerfeld, is actually not very keen on Chanel. Not only him, but also his father Jacques Widmore. The Widmore family is not just a company like Chanel. The family is very old, even older than the Rothschild family in the financial field. It moved from country D to country F. After 300 years of baptism, it has been completely nationalized. In addition to Chanel, its family business also involves retail, water, electricity, and other industries. It is a very low-key company. Overall, this is a very strong and low-key family. After closing the document, Jiang Feng frowned and said to Xiao Na, who was sitting in the row with him, How do you plan to acquire it? Jiang Feng was actually a little optimistic about this acquisition. It is not a listed company, and the Widmore family is short of money. There is no place for mouth. Xiaona brushed her hair with her fingers, smiled slightly, and said, Currently, 80% of Chanel's equity belongs to the Widmore family, and the remaining 20% belongs to the Bader family. Now the red wine business run by the Baida family is not doing well. It has been suppressed by other F country brands, and life is very difficult. I heard that they intend to sell their shares. I have sent people to contact them before. The problem is not big, but the valuation there is still a little debate about the value. As for the Widmore brothers, Alain holds 40% and Gerard also holds 40%. Of the two brothers, Alan is the most difficult to deal with, so I put the breakthrough point in Gerard. After investigation, it was found that Gerard lost 100 million US dollars at the Monte Carlo Casino and has not repaid it. Now the people in the casino have came here from Monaco. We can use this opportunity to see if we can get 40% from Gerard. After Zhang Feng heard this, he looked at Xiaona in surprise. Where did you get this information? Is the information reliable? The news is absolutely reliable. As for the source, Xiaona smiled and said, Don't you know, boss, that there are investigation companies in this society? As long as you can afford the money, you can even find out what the Eagle Queen is having for dinner. Well, Zhang Feng's expression froze. Then he shrugged and said, Forgot. He indeed forgot. Umbrella has similar services, but he doesn't use them much. Are you going to see Gerard now? Zhang Feng asked. Yes. Shauna nodded. That's okay. It'll be up to you later. Zhang Feng adjusted himself to a comfortable sitting position and then passed the negotiation over to Xiao Na. What he received in return was Xiao Na's blank stare. The convoy made its way out of the city. I don't know how long the journey lasted, but Zhang Feng hadn't even arrived yet when he woke up from his nap. Just as he was about to ask how long it would take to arrive, he heard Xiao Na say, We're here. Arrive? Zhang Feng was stunned and then looked out the window. Sure enough, there was a building 500 meters ahead. Soon, the convoy arrived at the building. It was a very old manor, all made of stone. Just admiring it at this time, Xiaona had already negotiated with the security. After some communication, the motorcade was inspected and quickly drove in. At this time, Zhang Feng saw everything in the manor. To be honest, Zhang Feng thought that he was not there good at the manor in the United States. After a briefing, Zhang Feng met Gerard. He was about 40 years old, very short, probably only about 1.7 meters, slightly fat, with a round face, and his smile gave people a sense of honesty the feeling. A pair of eyes are twinkling, with a hint of black around the eyes, but the whole person is very white. Needless to say, he must have been among flowers for a long time, and his body is very weak. Because Jiang Feng is playing the role of Xiao Na's assistant, so Xiao Na talked to Gerard throughout the whole process, while he took notes and observed on the side. After Xiao Na exchanged a few words with Gerard, the conversation changed and she said, Mr. Gerard, I heard recently I learned something about you. I don't know if it's true or not. Oh? Gerard's eyes moved slightly and he said with a smile, What's the matter? Well, there are recent rumors that you lost 100 million US dollars in Monaco and that you were willing to pay back the money. Now the casino has sent people over, saying they are looking for you in Paris. I wonder if this is the case? After saying that, Xiaona looked at Gerard with a smile on her face. Gerard's face changed slightly, and then he denied, slander, 
pure slander, absolutely impossible. Many of my friends know that I don't gamble. Hee <laughs> hee. Shauna smiled slightly and did not expose it, but continued, I think so, but I heard that the Monte Carlo Casino has sent people to Paris. Before he could say anything, Gerard's face turned very ugly and he asked directly, Miss Shao, if you have anything to say, just say it. Very good. Shao Na smiled and said, We can help you pay back this 100 million US dollar account for free, provided that 40% of the Chanel company in your hands is sold to our Genshio group for a price of 500 million US dollars. Do you want to buy Chanel? Gerard stood up from the sofa with a swish, shook his head and said, If you are planning to acquire the Chanel shares in my hands, I think you should take them back. After saying that, he clapped his hands and said, Send off the guests. As soon as he finished speaking, an old man about 50 years old came forward and said to Jiang Feng and Jiang Feng with a smile, Please. Shauna stood up, calmly and calmly took out a business card and put it on the coffee table, then nodded to Jiang Feng. The two of them left the manor under the escort of the butler. It seems that your plan is not working. This Sherard will not accept your tricks. On the way back, Zhang Feng said to Xiao Na with a smile on his face. Boss, what are you in a hurry for? Xiao Na said calmly and calmly. This is the first dish. Just watch it. He will call us in three days. Yeah? Zhang Feng looked at Xiao Na who looked confident and said suspiciously, Is it possible that you have any other ideas? Xiao Na smiled and said, The secret must not be revealed. Looking at Xiao Na who looked mysterious and unwilling to talk, Jiang Feng shrugged, Forget it, you just have to be confident. Now, where do we go? Jiang Feng was a bystander throughout this luxury acquisition. Of course, if Jinxiu Group did not have enough financial resources, he would also act as a cash machine. This is also the reason why he accompanied Xiao Na. Next stop, Gucci. Xiao Na said with slightly narrowed eyes. Gucci? Jiang Feng was stunned for a moment. Then he nodded and looked at Xiao Na with admiration in his eyes. As a reborn person, Zhang Feng knew very well that Gucci would be a top international brand comparable to Louis Vuitton and Hermes in the future. But now, Gucci's brand has declined due to internal disputes. International reviews are not optimistic about Gucci, but Xiao Na is now planning to acquire Gucci. Could it be that she expected that the Gucci brand would become popular in the future? Thinking of this, Zhang Feng couldn't help but wonder, why are you thinking about acquiring Gucci? The sales of this brand have continued to decline in recent years, and even Chanel cannot compare with it. Is it worthwhile to acquire it? Have, Shauna said without hesitation. Then she explained, perhaps it was not worth much before, and even Balenciaga was more valuable than it. However, Gucci has recently changed its boss and designer, and its style has changed a lot. The change, especially after Tom Ford became the creative director of women's clothing, sales have increased significantly. After saying that, Xiao Na opened her wallet and folder, took out a document, and handed it to Jiang Feng. I asked someone to investigate Gucci's sales in Xiangjiang and Paris in the past three years. Variety. Jiang Feng took the document and started reading it. This? Are you sure this is true? Jiang Feng looked at the document in his hand and looked at Xiao Na in surprise. Xiao Na smiled and said, The data must be inaccurate. After all, Gucci does not disclose financial reports. However, this is a data model that I asked several commercial survey companies to investigate and then create. Although it is not very accurate, the error should not be very large. After a pause, Xiao Na continued, As you can see from the table, since Tom Ford became the creative director of Gucci, not only has the old atmosphere been changed from the products, but the products have been replaced by modern girls, and products tend to be younger. In my opinion, Gucci's positioning is very good. The future belongs to young people. Whoever masters the preferences of young people will be successful. Bang bang. Jiang. Feng clapped his hands and said with satisfaction, I feel more and more that choosing you as the CEO of Jinxiu Group was the wisest choice. In Zhang Feng's industries, in fact, he really doesn't pay much attention to Jinxiu. However, now Jinxiu is the second largest company in Zhang Feng's industries, second only to Master Kong and Lan Shan. The entire group matrix, even if looking into the future, 20 years later, 
It will also be a well-known clothing and daily chemical giant company in the world. Shauna smiled sweetly, her cheeks dimples. Chairman, are you praising me? Certainly. Then I will gladly accept it. Haha. -ha. After saying that, Shauna couldn't help but laugh out loud. Acquiring Gucci was much smoother than acquiring Chanel. First, there is fierce fighting within the Gucci family. Unlike Chanel, where two brothers hold the most power, Gucci can be said to be the Nine Dragons seizing the sun of the Qing Dynasty drama. Although it is not Nine Dragons, it is a situation where five families are divided. Second, Gucci's equity is dispersed. The entire Gucci family holds 63% of the equity, and the remaining equity is scattered among other companies in Country F. Winning in chaos, divide and draw together, defeat each one. After spending a lot of money to win over him, he was able to gain control of Gucci easily. In fact, in a parallel world, Kirin Group acquired Gucci Group a few years later through differentiation, wooing, and defeating them one by one. The amount spent was also relatively low, less than 600 million US dollars. After taking control of Gucci, Shauna acted resolutely and issued a mandatory acquisition invitation to Gucci's current major shareholder Maurizio Gucci. If you don't agree, increase capital and expand shares. Faced with Shauna's strength, Maurizio saw that the situation was over and did not persist, so he chose to cash out and leave. For this reason, this takeover battle came to an end in just two days. The Gucci family all exited the Gucci company, and the Fairview Group took 100% control of the Gucci company for 700 million US dollars. To this end, Jinshio Group has added another top clothing brand. After taking over Gucci, Shauna directly promoted Tom Ford to the creative director of all products of Gucci Group and increased resources to support Gucci. Of course, these are all things for later. The day after the Gucci group was acquired, sure enough, Gerard called, and it was Shauna who asked for an appointment. Mr. Gerard, I'm sorry. I'm not in Paris. I'm in Xiangjiang right now, so I can't help you with what you said. What? Are you willing to sell me 40% of Chanel's shares? Oh, I'm really sorry. I don't know if you've heard that the stock market has just acquired the Gucci group, so funds are tight and there will be no more acquisitions for the time being. What? Are you willing to pay 450 million? This is not a price issue. It's really a problem with the company's funds. Huh? Are you willing to sell for 350 million dollars? This, I'll ask for instructions right away, and I'll call you back when I'm done. Hilton Hotel, in the presidential suite. Zhang Feng stared at Xiaona in stunned silence. This operation is so precise. It's not easy to tell lies. Xiang Jiang? Damn, are you in Xiang Jiang? Zhang Feng finally opened his eyes. He has a new understanding of Xiaona. No wonder he was able to snatch Louis Vuitton from Arnaud before. This method and the rhythm of the conversation are really good. What interests him is what Xiaona's methods can do. Jean Girard really changed his mind on the phone within three days. When Zhang Feng asked the question in his mind, Xiaona said calmly, It's not a big secret. I just sent someone to bring Girard's house in Paris whose addresses, including that of his mistress, were given to the bookmaker. Zhang Feng. Ruthless. Zhang Feng had to admire him. This trick is ruthless. It is up to the gambling company to force Gerard to pay back the money. With the gambling company's methods, Gerard will definitely not be able to bear it. Shauna will naturally be found. There was no way he could tell his brother Alan about the gambling. It's impossible to borrow 100 million US dollars in a short time. The only way is to contact Xiaona. Only in this way can we collect money as quickly as possible. Zhang Feng, who figured out the key here, gave Xiaona a thumbs up. Xiaona smiled, then picked up the phone and called back, Hello, Mr. Gerard. I just asked. The boss said that funds are a bit tight and he is unwilling to make any more acquisitions. But, after my hard work, I finally agreed to acquire it for 340 million US dollars. What do you think? Ah. Uh, Sure, okay. I'll fly over today, good, I know. After hanging up the phone, Xiaona made a victory gesture and said with a smile, Okay, Chanel can't escape now. That is, with you. A female Zhuga, strategizing, how could you possibly run away? Zhang Feng praised with a smile. After experiencing the two acquisitions of Gucci and Chanel, Zhang Feng was completely relieved. In order to strengthen Xiaona's confidence, 
Zhang Feng used his own account funds to inject 3 billion US dollars into Jinxiu Group Company. With this funding, Xiaona must be able to be more open minded and not be limited by the company's funds. After transferring 3 billion US dollars to Jinxiu Group, Jiang Feng's personal account assets dropped sharply to only about 24.7 billion US dollars. It was originally close to 30 billion US dollars, but it successively acquired companies such as Wharf, Wheelock, and Land. Although there were short selling profits, it still spent more than 4 US dollars billion a Hilton Hotel. Dear, do you want to go back to Rome? After lingering for a while, Zhang Feng stroked Baluchi's smooth back and asked with a smile on his face. Yes, I do. Baluchi lay on the sofa, folded his hands on Jiang Feng's legs, rested his head on them, and said slowly, Speaking of which, from when I first entered Hollywood to now, I haven't gone back for more than two years. I miss you very much. How about we go to Rome? Jiang Feng suggested. Real? Baluchi climbed up from Jiang Feng's lap excitedly, his eyes flashing with joy. My dear, are you really willing to go to Rome? Certainly. Jiang Feng gently scratched her nasal passages. But, have you finished handling everything here? Baluchi couldn't help but frown while being happy. She really wanted Jiang Feng to return to Rome with her, but she didn't want to affect Jiang Feng's business. Of course the matter is settled. Oh, that's okay. Baluchi breathed a sigh of relief. Then he said excitedly with a rosy smile, When you get to Rome, I will take you to visit the scenery of Rome. That's a place you think you'll like. Jiang Feng smiled and held the excited Baluchi in his arms, quietly and tenderly. He loves beauty, but Jiang Feng loves the country more. Going to Rome, that is, Italy. It is not just for the love of his children. He only wanted to go for romance and fun, but Italy had what he needed. The next morning, Jiang Feng took Baluchi, Sunbin, Yang Jiaming and other people on a plane and flew to Florence, Italy. They got off the plane. Jiang Feng and his party walked out of the VIP room, then boarded a motorcade specially welcomed by the hotel and drove slowly towards the city. Baluchi was in great spirits and happily introduced him to all the attractions and history of Florence. Culture. Jiang Feng did not interrupt and listened patiently to her explanation. After arriving at the hotel and taking possession of the hotel, Baluchi went to call her family while he held Sunbin for a brief meeting. This visit to Italy is a good opportunity for DPCA. I plan to acquire several automobile companies in Italy to enhance the strength of DPCA. Although our company has only been established for a short period of time, we still have to focus on the world. As he said this, Jiang Feng took out the paper he had already prepared, casually wrote a few car brands on the paper, and handed it to Sun Bin. This is the car brand we plan to acquire this time. Take a look first. Sun Bin nodded. This time he followed Jiang Feng here, so he knew that the boss was making big moves, otherwise he wouldn't have called him here specifically. Maserati? Lamborghini? Bugatti? Are they all supercars? Sun. Ben opened his eyes wide and looked at Jiang Feng with some confusion. Boss, the performance of this supercar is good, but the production volume is too low. Is it really necessary to buy it? Of course. Jiang Feng affirmed. Then he explained. Owning a supercar company can greatly enhance the reputation of Shenlong Automobile. Once this supercar wins the championship in the racing field, it will be easier for Western buyers to recognize it. Just imagine, if the supercar company owned by Shenlong Motors wins the championship, doesn't that mean that Shenlong Motors has advanced engine technology or vehicle maintenance capabilities? Of course, these are not important. The acquisition of a supercar can improve Shenlong Motors' car research and development and further improve it. As we all know, the best car manufacturing technology has always been in supercar companies. Sports cars have the highest technical content and use the latest and most cutting-edge technology. If nothing else, take McLaren as an example. McLaren Karen was founded by top racing driver Bruce McLaren. It specializes in Formula One racing and also manufactures supercars. The McLaren F1 sports car developed in 1990 can accelerate from standstill to 100 km per hour in 3.2 seconds. H. With a top speed of 386 km per hour. This record has been maintained for 15 years. So you can imagine McLaren's technology research and development potential. 
Lamborghini's car research and development background is many times better than McLaren. Although recently it has changed hands several times in more than 10 years, but its heritage is at least much better than that of Shenlong Motors in terms of design. In fact, Zhang Feng had one more factor that he didn't mention. That is, the acquisition of these supercar companies will mainly target customers in East Asia and Southeast Asia. One thing must be admitted. In the past hundred years, the West has taken the lead. Changes have occurred in Asia as a whole, and some phenomena of worshipping foreign countries and favoring foreign countries have appeared. I think European or American products and brands are good. I would rather ignore the cheap domestic products than buy foreign products at high prices. As a reborn person, Zhang Feng is well aware of this. That's why he insisted on acquiring several supercar companies. Of course, it is undeniable that Zhang Feng also expanded the product line of Shenlong Motors with the intention of picking up the slack. After all, Shenlong Motors currently only has luxury cars and is blank in the field of supercars. After hearing Zhang Feng's explanation, Sun Bin nodded. It was because he was too small. Unexpectedly, Zhang Feng went further than he thought. So he nodded and said, Boss, I will form an acquisition team immediately and try my best to acquire these three automobile factories. Zhang Feng said with a smile, Well, thank you for your hard work. Sun Bin was just about to say that it was okay and I left first. Suddenly, a flash of light came into his mind. Seeing that Jiang Feng seemed to have a special liking for supercars, he estimated that his boss would be interested in his news. His eyes brightened slightly, and he said to Jiang Feng, Boss, I have some news here. I wonder if you are interested? Jiang Feng raised his eyebrows, and a trace of curiosity arose in his heart, and asked, What news? Tell me about it. Sun Bin said, It's information about General Motors. Recently, News came out that General Motors in the United States plans to sell the Lotus they previously acquired. In addition, Leland Automobile Company and Country Y plans to sell its Lotus due to debt problems. Land Rover brand in exchange for funds. As the CEO of an automobile company, Sunbin still pays attention to the global automobile industry. He knows himself and his enemy and is victorious in every battle. Only in this way can he know how the world's automobile industry is developing. A Land Rover? Zhang Feng was a little surprised. This brand is so familiar. Zhang Feng remembers that in 2008, Ford was sold to the Tata Group in Tianju. Subsequently, Land Rover sold very well in mainland China and became the best money-making machine for Tata Group in China, even more powerful than its brother Jaguar. Zhang Feng didn't know much about Lotus, but he vaguely remembered that it was a top supercar brand. The memory of existence is similar to that of another brand Pagani. Zhang Feng asked, Are these two companies sure about the acquisition? Should be no problem. Son, been said with a smile, both Leland and Rover in country why can no longer operate. They are heavily in debt and have long been rumored to have plans to sell their assets. I think it is not difficult to acquire them as long as the price is in place. Um, Zhang Feng nodded slightly. Although Land Rover is a bad brand in later generations, the brand is still valuable and can just expand DPCA's SUV product line. Thinking of this, Zhang Feng immediately decided to acquire. So he told Sun Bin, I want these two car companies. Please work hard to form an acquisition team and win them over as soon as possible. In addition, you can also pay attention to other brands, such as Ferrari, Porsche, etc. As long as there is a chance and the price is right, I will buy them all. Anyway, he has so much money now. If he keeps it in the bank, he might as well go out and acquire it. In fact, what Jiang Feng cares about most is Porsche and Ferrari. Unfortunately, these two companies are not easy to acquire. Behind Ferrari is the Fiat Group. This means it is difficult to acquire a national company supported by the Chinese government. Unless there is an economic crisis. As for Porsche, no one else is short of money it is not a listed company, and the equity is concentrated. How to acquire it? After hearing Zhang Feng's instructions, Sun Bin immediately he nodded and said, Okay, I remember. In the next few days, Zhang Feng accompanied Baluchi to visit the scenery of Xie country and this ancient European cultural country. The remaining time was also spent listening to reports from Sun Bin and Xiao Na. During this period, Zhang Feng also communicated with Selena many times about Damao and Air Mao. In addition, 
I also asked about Lu Xinghuai's affairs in Odessa. It has to be said that the incident in Odessa is one of Jiang Feng's most representative achievements since his rebirth. With his secret financial support, Odessa, the former polar bear military region that was originally divided between Damao and Ermao, has become complete in this time and space. Although it did not establish an independent country, it was a buffer zone recognized by both Damao and Ermao. To put it simply, it is a separatist force that has not yet declared independence. Of course, it cannot be said that Jiang Feng is entirely responsible for this current situation. The main reason is that Damao does not want to give the strategic place of Ko Island to the Air Mao, but from a historical perspective, it belongs to the Air Mao and is not easy to grab. Since it was impossible to rob it openly, it secretly supported Odessa. There is a kind of thing. Instead of being cheap by two cents, it is better to be cheaper than others. However, because Air Mao had just separated, the political situation was in chaos, and the Odessa military region was strong, with the support of de Mao behind him, so he could only lose his teeth and swallow blood. This is how the separatist kingdom of Odessa came into existence. The current global corporate headquarters of Umbrella Company is in Stana, the capital of Odessa, spent almost a week in Florence. In this week, Sunbin successfully acquired three supercar brands, Maserati, Lamborghini, and Bugatti. It is not as difficult as imagined. These three supercars are all handmade, and there are no mass-produced models. They are more like handmade workshops than supercar companies. For example, Lamborghini's team only has 60 or 70 people. There are not many companies around the world that hand-build supercars like this. There are quite a few in Italy, but relatively speaking they are not that famous. The total cost of acquiring three supercar companies was less than 100 million US dollars. Because they are all pre-mass produced cars, and they are handmade, although news broke in Italy, they did not attract attention. After acquiring the three teams, Jiang Feng communicated with Sun Bin that the team should be moved to Xiangjiang as much as possible, and those who did not want to go would stay in Italy. At the same time, Shenlong Automobile Company would also set up a branch in Italy and plan to after the product is optimized, industrialized production and manufacturing will be implemented, and some models will be mass-produced. Although you have a good reputation by selling customization, you can't make much money. Really still have to rely on mass-produced models to make money. However, in order to ensure brand recognition, it is necessary to achieve excellent results in various car competitions, so some models still require manual work. On the other side, Xiaona is waving banknotes and stirring up trouble in Paris, country F. After annexing Gucci, it successively acquired Chanel, Cartier, Paris Saint-Germain, Yves Saint-Laurent, Clarins, and other companies. It can be said that they robbed Country F's fashion luxury brands, scaring Hermes, Pierre Cardin, Crocodile, L'Oreal, and other group companies to buy back their shares or form groups, for fear that if they were not careful, they would be secretly secreted by this woman from the East. Acquired. When Jiang Feng heard this, he couldn't help laughing. But this is also a good thing, allowing the West to see the strength from the East. On June 20th, Jiang Feng, who had been in Italy for a week, landed in Stana, the capital of Odessa, under Bellucci's reluctant eyes. Where to meet Selena? Before Jiang Feng set off, Lu Xinghuai had already reached Starna first. Three hours later, the plane arrived at Stana International Airport. Although it is the capital of Odessa, Stana has a population of only 800,000, accounting for about one-sixth of the total population of Odessa. It was three o'clock in the afternoon when the plane arrived in Starna. Under the protection of Yang Jiaming and others, Jiang Feng stepped out of the cabin and saw seven or eight black cars and a dozen military vehicles parked, surrounded by hundreds of soldiers in military uniforms on guard. In front of the cars and military vehicles, there were more than a dozen men and women standing. Some of them carried generals on their shoulders. Jiang Feng knew most of these people. The leader was Flood's father Anthony, followed by Selena. Lu Xinghuai, Flood and others, and even Zhang Feng's old friend Natasha was also there, just standing relatively far back. When he walked down the stairs, the leader Anthony walked over quickly, warmly extended his hand to shake Zhang Feng's hand, and said with a smile, Welcome Mr. Zhang. On behalf of the five million citizens of Odessa, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to you. I would like to express my most sincere welcome. Looking at the top leader of Odessa in front of him, 
Zhang Feng smiled and said, General Anthony, no. It should be Chief Anthony now, long time no see. Anthony smiled and made an invitation gesture. Zhang Feng nodded slightly and then stepped forward to greet the people who came to greet him. Finally, he got into the Rolls Royce in the middle, and the person in the car with him was Salina. Soon, the motorcade slowly drove towards the city. Looking at the Eastern European buildings outside the window, Zhang Feng asked, Selina, how is the situation in Odessa? Did anything happen to Anthony? After seeing Zhang Feng for more than two years, Selina found that Zhang Feng was more imposing than before in his movements. Just now at the airport, she shook hands with Anthony and talked and laughed without caring that the other party was a leader. In addition, with his handsome fair face and deep eyes, to be honest, Selina is even more fascinated by Jiang Feng. Before, she admired his ability, vision, and structure. Now, she is even more coveted by the boss's body. Ahem. Hearing Jiang Feng's inquiry, Selina immediately replied, After two years of observation and insider information, no unusual changes have been found for the time being. Would he be so honest? Zhang Feng didn't believe it. This Anthony is not someone willing to be a puppet. By the way, what happened to Ivanovich? Zhang Feng suddenly remembered something from before. That was why Ivanovich, the number one person in Odessa before, suddenly died. As if he had guessed Zhang Feng's question, Selina said directly without thinking, Dead, there is something strange. Although Anthony said he had a heart attack, as far as I know, it should be two people seizing power. Zhang Feng nodded. If it is about seizing power, then it makes sense. There is no room for two tigers in one mountain. Who is willing to give away the power in his hands? As for the heart disease, Zhang Feng didn't believe it. When he first met Ivanovich, but in high spirits, why did he suddenly have a heart attack in the past two years? The key is that it is still at this critical moment. Zhang Feng doesn't care whether Ivanovich dies or not. This guy is not his person in the first place. Even dead. By the way, how is the military penetration situation now? And what about the Odessa government? Zhang Feng asked. Now almost half of the mid-level officers are from our side. As for the parliament, they have more control. In addition, important departments such as police and transportation have been almost penetrated. As long as Anthony takes action, our side will definitely will be clear. Very good. Zhang Feng had a satisfied smile on his face. This was better than he imagined. He didn't want to come to the front, but he had to control the area of Odessa, no matter who came to power. It's the same on Zhang Feng's side when they learned about the situation. Anthony and his son were also talking about Zhang Feng. Dad, what do you think he wants to do this time? Fraud turned sideways and looked at his father with doubts. Anthony shook his head calmly, a pair of deep eyes flashed, and then returned to normal and said, Fraud, what do you think about Zhang Feng? How? He? Fraud was stunned for a moment. After thinking for a while, he slowly said, A very successful businessman. So tell me, will his arrival affect our family's status in Odessa? Anthony took out a cigar from his clothes, lit it, and started smoking. Flood glanced at his father and saw that his face was calm, with no idea at all. He had no choice but to speak according to his own ideas. I don't think so. According to my observation, he seems to be very interested in the political situation. He probably just wants to hide as a person behind the scenes and make money. Anthony didn't say anything, but just pinched the cigar with a little more force. The motorcade slowly drove into the four-star hotel in the city center. It was not so much a four-star hotel as it was a hotel transformed from a castle. Get off. After taking the car, Zhang Feng shook hands with Anthony and agreed to inspect the Black Sea shipyard tomorrow. Anthony took his people and left. Zhang Feng took his people to rest in the hotel for a night. The next day in the morning, Zhang Feng arrived. Black Sea shipyard. Seeing the unfinished aircraft carrier docked at the shipyard and the dozen or so warships docked along the way, Zhang Feng secretly clicked his tongue. Zhang Feng had heard of the Black Sea shipyard more than once, whether it was in his previous life or in his previous life. In this life, he has often heard the name of the Black Sea shipyard. The Black Sea shipyard, also known as the Nikolaev shipyard, was founded in the Sahi 19th century during the Tsarist Russia era. It was the fifth largest shipyard 
in the only shipyard in the pre-polar bear period. The aircraft carrier assembly plant has a 900-ton crane. The entire Black Sea shipyard covers an area of 2 million square meters. In its nearly century-old history, this shipyard has built and produced 1,000 ships including aircraft carriers. It is a comprehensive shipyard covering aircraft carriers, destroyers, cruisers, and frigates. In addition, this shipyard can also produce 15,000-ton oil tankers. It can be said that the Black Sea Shipyard is the industrial flower of the former polar bear in the shipbuilding industry. Now, this shipyard the shipyard fell into the hands of Odessa. It is also one of the most important assets of Odessa at the moment. However, this thing is a hot potato. Only then did Anthony ask Jiang Feng for help, so he made this trip to Odessa. In accompanied by Anthony, Jiang Feng boarded the unfinished aircraft carrier VAC. There were ruins everywhere. Steel was randomly discarded, and many of them were rusty. It could be seen that this shipyard had been built for a long time. No one manages it anymore. What do you plan to do with this shipyard? After walking around for a while, Jiang Feng, who was not interested, stood on the deck of the aircraft carrier, looking at the Black Sea Fleet in the distance. Anthony, who heard the inquiry, said slowly, if you want to revitalize this shipyard, I'm afraid you have to invest two to three billion US dollars. Okay. In addition, what is more important is orders. Without orders, the shipyard cannot continue to operate at all. Now the Odessa government is stretched thin to maintain the Black Sea Fleet and cannot place orders with shipyards. So, my plan is to close the shipyard. After saying that, Anthony looked at Jiang Feng, trying to see something on Jiang Feng's face. Abandon it? Zhang Feng looked at Anthony with some surprise. This is the Black Sea Shipyard, one of the top shipyards in the world. You actually plan to abandon it and close it down. Zhang Feng really doesn't know what Anthony is thinking. Once the Black Sea Shipbuilding is closed, it will be difficult to open the plant again in the future. Anthony is a little embarrassed. Of course, he understands that it will be extremely difficult to restart the plant after it is shut down. But if it is not shut down, the burden of the Black Sea Shipyard will be shouldered by the new government. I'm sorry, Mr. Jiang Ai. Jiang Feng interrupted him and said with a serious face, The Black Sea Shipyard cannot be closed. I believe you know this better than me. If the new government really plans to close it, it can sell it to me. Anthony was stunned. Then he looked at Jiang Feng with a face of surprise. His breathing became much faster, and he opened his eyes wide and said, Mr. Jiang, are you really willing to buy the Black Sea Shipyard? Actually, I'm not very willing, Zhang Feng said with a wry smile. According to what he just learned, there are 60,000 to 70,000 employees at the Black Sea Shipyard. Such a mess, and if we accept everything from the Black Sea Shipyard, I am afraid it will cost billions of dollars. This is still just the early stage. Once there are no orders in the later period, there will be long term losses. Generally speaking, if no orders can be found, it is a super big hole. In parallel time and space, Ermao just couldn't play with it and felt that the hole was too big, so he had to close it in the end. In this way, Jiang Feng gritted his teeth and decided to take it. Mainly for two reasons. First, it has complete shipbuilding technology. It can be used as a starting point for the military-industrial complex. We will not talk about building aircraft carriers in the future, but be careful to build some frigates, destroyers, and even amphibious landings. There shouldn't be much of a problem with ships. Secondly, 10,000-ton oil tankers can be built here, which is what Jiang Feng likes. After acquiring Wheelock, Jiang Feng already has a fleet. Furthermore, under the Hong Kong Electric Group, Hong Kong Electric Oil Company needs a large number of oil tankers. For these reasons, Jiang Feng plans to take over it. Even if it loses money, it will only cost billions of dollars at worst. Besides, Odessa is still his own territory. Mr. Jiang joked. Anthony smiled awkwardly, but he felt a lot more relaxed in his heart. Since Jiang Feng, a super rich man, was willing to take over this hot potato, he could explain it to the workers. After looking at Anthony, Jiang Feng shook his head slightly. Wandering around after a lap, Jiang Feng planned to leave. However, just when everyone was about to leave the shipyard, there was a commotion in front. Someone seemed to be shouting. Anthony's face suddenly became ugly. 
He waved his hand and asked the soldiers to catch up. Let's go. Seeing this, Zhang Feng quickly said, Slow down. Then under Anthony's doubts, Zhang Feng said calmly, Go and bring him here. The soldier looked at Zhang Feng and then at Anthony, obviously not sure whether he should listen or not. Upon seeing this, Anthony yelled, Didn't you hear what Mr. Zhang said? Go quickly. Yes. The soldier hurriedly ran over. Zhang Feng, who saw this scene in his eyes, said to Anthony with a smile, Mr. Anthony is very good at handling this. Anthony's face changed slightly when he heard this. Not only Anthony's expression changed slightly. All around, the expressions of everyone present changed, including Frude, Natasha, and others. This sentence can be described as heartbreaking. Perhaps to some people who do not understand the internal situation, a businessman who threatens a region to take control is undoubtedly seeking death. However, is this really the case? Anthony smiled awkwardly and then quickly explained, Mr. Jiang? Jiang Feng raised his hand to interrupt and said with a smile, Just kidding. The atmosphere under the contract made Mr. Anthony nervous. I still understand that enough is enough. We have already beaten Anthony's face. If we continue to beat him, if we force this old dog to rebel, it will actually be more gain than loss. Let's go up and see what happened. Zhang Feng took the lead and walked over. Anthony and the rest of the people followed. Today is different from the past. Today, Zhang Feng is one of the top super rich people in the world, and Anthony does not dare to offend. Besides, many things require Zhang Feng. Only with the support of Feng. Just like the Black Sea shipyard. When Zhang Feng got closer and got to know each other, he learned that he was the chief engineering designer and shipyard of the original Black Sea shipyard, and his name was Yuri Ivanovich Makar. Love. After understanding the identity of the other party, Zhang Feng waved his hand and signaled the soldiers to let him go. Hello, Mr. Yuri. Zhang Feng reached out his hand and looked at him with a smile. Yuri was stunned for a moment. Obviously, he didn't expect an Asian to appear here. Who are you? Well, sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. Zhang Feng smiled and said, My name is Zhang Feng. I am a businessman. Merchant? Yuri was surprised again, and then his face changed and turned ugly. Snort. He snorted coldly and said, Businessman, there is no good thing. Old man, do you want to die? You dare to scold my boss. Hu Xiaojun took out his gun and put it directly on Yuri's head. Snort. Yuri didn't even look at the gun, but turned his attention to Anthony. Zhang Feng waved his hand and signaled Hu Xiaojun to put away the gun. Although Hu Xiaojun was reluctant, he finally put it away. Mr. Anthony, why did you lay off the workers and shut down the Black Sea shipyard? Do you know that by doing so, you are simply a sinner of the shipyard and a sinner of the country? After seeing Anthony coming, Yuri started to squirt without any concern for the other person's face. He scolded Anthony bloody. Anthony was worried about Zhang Feng being here so he didn't get angry and looked very bad on his face. But he still said calmly, Mr. Yuri, as the person in charge of the shipyard, you should know better than me how much money is needed to maintain the operation of the shipyard every year. Now that the new government has just been formed, there is a lot of waste waiting to be done. Where can we find the funds? Invest in shipyard. However, you are right. It was my fault to lay off the workers. It just so happens that this is Mr. Jiang. He will become the boss of the Black Sea Shipyard. He will have the final say on all matters related to the Black Sea Shipyard in the future, Anthony said. Hearing this, Yuri turned to look at Jiang Feng, examined him carefully for a while, and then said contemptuously, He is a young man. He looks like he is in his twenties. You said he will become the leader of the Black Sea Shipyard owner? Mr. Anthony, don't you think it's ridiculous? Yuri was very angry. He felt that Anthony was insulting his IQ. This was disrespectful to him. Zhang Feng, who was watching the show, stepped forward and said with a smile, Mr. Yuri, Anthony is right. I will buy the Black Sea shipyard. Down. You don't need to doubt this. Just as you are here, I will directly explain that you will continue to be the director of the Black Sea shipyard, and you will also be responsible for the recall of employees. From now on, the Black Sea Shipyard will be managed by the Tiangong Group. Regarding the future direction of the shipyard, we will discuss it in detail when we have time. After saying that, Jiang Feng smiled slightly and then walked towards the convoy. 
Only Yuri was left messy in the wind. After a while, Yuri, who came back to his senses, looked again and saw that the convoy had long disappeared. Only a few remained. Soldiers holding firearms. Yuri caught a lieutenant colonel and asked, What is the background of the gentleman named Jiang just now? The lieutenant colonel officer replied, The specific background is unclear, but I saw that leader Anthony respected him very much. He seemed to be a great big shot. Anthony respects him very much? This sentence completely shocked Yuri. You must know that in this area of Odessa, Anthony is the god, and the reason why he can fight against Anthony is that he is the director of the Black Sea Shipyard. In the era of polar bears, his status and identity were no worse than Anthony's. It's just that times have changed. What I didn't expect was that Anthony, who had always been dignified and aloof to people, would be so respectful to an Asian man. Could it be that this Asian man the man's background is really great? Or is there another level of connection? After leaving the Black Sea shipyard, Jiang Feng inspected the Umbrella Headquarters base. It is located on the outskirts of the city, about 30 kilometers from the city, on a peninsula. Like a military fortress, huge umbrella flags flutter in the wind. The entire base consists of more than a dozen tall buildings and some short buildings. Passing through the electric gate, you are greeted by a bunch of unknown tanks, piled randomly, about 40 or 50, and there are more than 30 infantry fighting vehicles in a corner. Then there are the training base and various living quarters. I thought it was just an ordinary military camp, but when Jiang Feng entered the building named Number One, he discovered that there was something different. There is actually a large research and development room inside. Looking at the crowd of old men wearing white mantles, Jiang Feng pointed and asked Lu Xinghuai beside him, What are you studying? Lu Xinghuai explained with a smile, Boss, this is according to your previous instructions. We in Damao and Ermao countries, some experts in the aviation field were recruited. Now they are reproducing some of the original helicopter technology and fighter technology and restoring the design logic. Oh! Jiang Feng was slightly surprised. He had indeed said before that when he was in the United States, he proposed to build a military industrial group. He gave Lu Xinghuai advice and went to Damao and Air Mao to find experts in the aviation field. He did not expect that he would actually poach them. Not bad, well done. Jiang Feng smiled and praised. Lu Xinghuai smiled slightly and made a gesture of invitation. Boss, this is only a small part of it. There are other projects in progress. I will take you to see them. Good. Jiang Feng nodded. He also wanted to see how many talents Lu Xinghuai had obtained for him. After an hour, when Jiang Feng finished the tour and came to the huge arched building on the left side of the base, he was shocked when he saw me, 24 being assembled inside. Assembly production and design are completely different things. Jiang Feng did not expect that the Umbrella headquarters could actually assemble and produce helicopters. No wonder, when he just came out of the number one building, Lu Xinghuai had a mysterious look on his face. So that's what happened. Mr. Lu, you really surprised me. Brother Jiang looked at the helicopter being assembled and then sighed to Lu Xinghuai beside him. It was a coincidence that Odessa used to have a helicopter production line. So after negotiating with Anthony, we bought it. Lu, Xinghuai explained with a smile. Oh? When Jiang Feng heard this, he immediately became interested. Is he willing to sell it? Lu Xinghuai smiled and said, he didn't want to sell at first, but there is no other way if he doesn't sell. The government has no money and must sell off its assets. So, I took the opportunity to buy it. That's right, given the current situation in Odessa, it would be useless even if we had the production line in hand. Jiang Feng nodded. The most important issue in Odessa now is to solve the problem of food and clothing, and everything else takes a backseat. Just when Jiang Feng was inspecting Odessa, a strange incident caused by him was happening in Xiangjiang far away. Xiangjiang, Taping Shan, he family. As a wealthy family well-known in Hong Kong, Macau Island, and even the world, a scandal of pregnancy without having sex actually happened. This made Stanley Ho, the head of the He family, have an ugly expression on his face. Because the protagonist of the matter was He Chaohuan whom he had always been optimistic about and was regarded as one of his successors. It happened three days ago. During the meal, Stanley Ho saw his daughter walking slowly and wearing winter clothes, so he couldn't help but asked curiously. He Chao Huan was secretive. 
prevaricate. He didn't care at the time. In the evening, after dinner and a family meeting room, we undoubtedly discovered that He Chao Huan was suffering from morning sickness. Combined with the slight protrusion of her belly, this made the He family inevitably think about pregnancy. So, after some forced confessions and factual evidence, He Chao Huan had no choice but to admit the fact that she was pregnant. Just when the whole family was happy that He Chao Huan was pregnant, Stanley Ho looked ugly. Because he knew that his daughter had basically not lived in the Su family since she got married, and had even lived in the He family in the past six months. He Chao Huan is not even with Su Ji Hung. How can she get pregnant? Not only was he thinking of it, but He Chao Huan's mother and the second wife Lan Huan Ying were also thinking of it. Both of them looked ugly. After being strictly ordered not to spread the news of He Chao Huan's pregnancy, Stanley Ho did not ask his daughter personally, but asked his second wife Lan Huan Ying to do so. As a result, no matter how hard he pressed, He Chao Huan refused to tell who the father of the child was. This made the gambling king very angry. He was ordered not to allow He Chao Huan to leave this house in the future. Then the two father and daughter had a conflict, and this cold war lasted for three days. Today, Stanley Ho couldn't bear it anymore and asked someone to call Ho Chao Huan down again and asked all the servants to leave the villa, intending to force a confession again. At this time, in the living room, the two fathers and daughters, plus the second wife Lan Huan Ying, are in a cold war. He looked at his daughter who looked stubborn and refused to speak. The fire in Stanley Ho's belly was like a raging fire. Under his eyes, someone actually raised his own daughter. Do you think he can stop being angry? What's more important is that her daughter has already married into the Su family. If this spreads out, where will the Su family's face go? And where will the He family's face go? When the time comes, the in-laws may even become enemies. When he thought of this and looked at his stubborn daughter, Stanley Ho couldn't bear it any longer. He patted the table hard and said, Are you going to tell me or not? He Chao Huan answered him silently. Good. If you don't tell me, you think there's nothing I can do, right? Very good. Then I will think of him as the boy named Chin. Since you like him so much, then just wait to collect his body. After speaking, Stanley Ho took out his phone and was about to make a call. Seeing this, the second wife Lan Huan Ying quickly persuaded, Ah Huan, don't be stubborn. Who is your father? It's not like you don't know what he said. You will be able to do it. Tell me quickly, who is the child in your belly? Otherwise, Ah Chiang will be finished. He Chao Huan's expression changed. Biting her lips, she looked at her father who was making a call. Seeing her silence, he honks and directly dialed the number of his subordinate. Hello. Ah who? It's me. Take a few people to kill the guy named Chen. Right. It's him, remember? Enough. Please, don't do that again. I'm telling you. He Chao Huan, who could not forget her old lover, couldn't hold back her anger anymore and cried out. Don't move yet. Wait for my call. Um, that's all. After hanging up the phone, Stanley Ho looked at his daughter who was in tears and felt a little unbearable. But when he thought of the child in his daughter's belly, his unbearable feeling was instantly forgotten, and he looked at his daughter with a cold face. Child, being cried is not good for the child in your belly. Lan Huanying hugged her daughter distressedly. The palms and backs of her hands were all flesh. As she spoke, she wiped the tears on her daughter's face with the tissue in her hand. He Chao Huan wiped her tears and looked up at her father sitting opposite. He said with a cold expression, Don't you want to know the father of the child? Okay, let me tell you. The child is Jiang Feng's. Wow. It was like a magnitude 10 earthquake. The expressions of Stanley Ho and Lan Huan Ying changed. Now, everyone in Hong Kong knows the name Jiang Feng. The two speculated on many possibilities. I just didn't guess Jiang Feng. You, you said the baby in your belly is Jiang Feng's? He Hongsen said with an embarrassed expression. Good. He Chao Huan straightened her fair neck, like a proud swan. But her eyes looked very cold. Didn't you say before that you would break the legs of the child's father and sink him into the sea? Go. I've told you now. Go. I would like to see who is more powerful, you or him. Facing his daughter's sarcasm. Stanley Ho did not say a word, but the gloomy look on his face obviously meant that he was trying his best to tolerate. What are you kids saying? Lan Huanying quickly smoothed things over and said, 
Have you ever talked to your dad like this? Snort. He Chao Huan snorted coldly, stood up, touched her gradually bulging belly, turned and walked to the bedroom upstairs, and said as she walked, I will give birth to this child. You can see for yourselves about the Su family's affairs. Let's do it. Ah Huan. Lan Huanying looked at her daughter's back and then at her husband, who had a gloomy look on his face. Finally, she sat down next to her husband helplessly and asked worriedly, What should I do now? What else can be done? Find someone to talk to the Su family. It is not appropriate for too many people to know about this matter. In this case, it is up to you to go in person and talk to Mrs. Su first. Just find an excuse. Don't tell the news about Ah Huan's pregnancy. In addition, the Su family wants compensation, as long as it does not exceed the principal. Rubbing his forehead, he honks and said with a headache. Lan Huanying nodded. She raised her head and glanced at her daughter's room, and then asked, How should we deal with Zhang Feng's matter? Should I tell him about the child? I think there should be some conflict between Ah Huan and him. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been hiding it from us all this time. It's none of your business, I'll take care of it said. Stanley Ho sighed. All right. Lan Huanying also knows her husband's difficulties. In fact, she is very happy in her heart. It is clear at a glance who is good and who is bad between a rich second generation who only knows how to eat, drink, and have fun, and a super rich man who built a huge business empire from scratch. My daughter is getting married. With the current status of the Jiang family, they would definitely not accept a married woman. After buying the Black Sea shipyard, Jiang Feng will definitely not stand at the front desk. The Black Sea shipyard is very important to both De Mao and Air Mao. Even if it is ruined in their hands, they cannot be controlled by others. Now it's just the situation that creates the de facto separatism. It does not mean that De Mao and Air Mao have no plans for the Black Sea shipyard. Therefore, in order to avoid becoming a thorn in the eyes of De Mao and Air Mao, Jiang Feng found a good spokesperson regarding the acquisition of Black Sea shipyard. Originally, his idea was to let Selena come, but considering the danger involved, Selena's identity as a woman, and the fact that more things in Europe and the United States will need to be handled by Selena in the future, Zhang Feng changed his position. One person. A big-haired man. That night, Zhang Feng checked into the hotel and welcomed a young guest. His name is Roman Abramovich. You can affectionately call him Ab. Yes, you read and thought correctly, this Abu is that Abu. This Abu is the wealthy Chelsea boss who later stirred up troubles in all directions in the Eagle football and European football and set off a storm of gold and dollar football. Unfortunately, Abu is just a small businessman who has just started. He has yet to meet his future nobleman, Berezovsky. It is estimated that there is no chance for him in this life, and he may be his rival for the rest of his life. But he met a greater nobleman, Jiang Feng. And this nobleman is in time stronger than Berezovsky in his heyday. Roman, I asked you to come today. The matter is urgent. Looking at Abu, who was very reserved in front of him, how could he have the majestic demeanor in the future? Zhang Feng smiled and said, I want you to stand at the front desk in advance and help me do something. Mr. Zhang, you said, as long as I can do it, I will go through fire and water, no matter what. Abu stood up and said excitedly. His eyes were shining when he looked at Jiang Feng. The man in front of him was his idol. He was two years younger than him, but he was a global sensation and was featured in Time magazine. Fortune magazine's super rich. Thinking about himself again, Abu felt that he had lived like a bear before. I thought I had no future in this life. Unexpectedly, someone came to him and was his idol. Therefore, Abu rushed over from Mexico without saying anything. The purpose is to seize this opportunity. Even if he is a dog for his idol, he is willing to do so. After all, not everyone can be a dog for him. Zhang Feng patted his shoulder and told him not to get excited. He sat down first and then said, This matter is not too difficult. I have already taken care of it. You just need to act according to the plan. Odessa is planning to auction the Black Sea shipyard. I plan to buy it, but I hope you can come forward. Black Sea shipyard? Abu said in disbelief, Really? Fake? Odessa wants to auction Black Sea Shipyard. Zhang Feng expressed his understanding of Abu's shock, so he continued, There is no doubt about this, it is indeed true. 
Although it is an auction, we may actually be the only buyer. So I hope you will come forward to buy the Black Sea Shipyard on my behalf. After saying that, Jiang Feng added, as the chairman and boss of Tiangong Group. Tiangong Group? Abu was a little confused. He had never heard of this company. Jiang Feng explained, I plan to set up a company focused on military trade, production, and research and development. The name is Tiangong Group. You can think of this company as the United States. Lockheed Martin and Raytheon. Lockheed Martin? Abu took a breath of air. He had heard of the name of this company. It is a global arms giant. Many cutting-edge fighter jets in the United States were developed by this company. He did not expect Jiang Feng's ambition to be so big. Actually wanted to set up an arms giant. Not only was Abu not afraid, but he was even more excited. Because just now Jiang Feng said that he should be the boss of such an arms company. Thinking of this, he felt strong all over his body. Boss, I'll take care of this. Abu said without hesitation, I will definitely help you do it beautifully. Unknowingly, Abu has changed his title. From Mr. Jiang at the beginning to his current boss. Jiang Feng smiled slightly. He stepped forward and patted Abu on the shoulder and continued, I will transfer the funds quickly. Regarding Tiangong Group, Mr. Liu of the Umbrella Company will contact you in the follow-up, correct? Zhang Feng walked a few steps and suddenly remembered something. He forgot to explain, so he added, As a reminder, Tiangong Group is only an arms company that focuses on research and development and cannot intervene in conflicts. From now on, its headquarters will be located in Odessa. Do you know? Zhang Feng doesn't want Tiangong Group to get involved in the dispute. He can just concentrate on being a military industrial group. Okay. Then he explained some details to Abu. And then he couldn't wait to leave the manor, ready to handle the matter. This was the trust of the big boss. And it was also an important turning point in Abu's life. Looking at Abu's retreating back, he stood there Lu Xinghuai on the side couldn't help but said, Boss, can he really be trusted? Trust? Zhang Feng chuckled, turned around and patted Lu Xinghuai on the shoulder with a smile and said, from now on, he will be the face of Tiangong Group. You will continue to be responsible for the specific R&D control. In addition, we will continue to promote the establishment of umbrella bases around the world. Go down. If the funds are not enough, I will continue to inject funds. Zhang Feng had already felt the benefits of the umbrella when he was in the island country of Tokyo. Thinking that there are umbrella branches all over the world, if something happens, he can be rescued nearby. In addition, some things that are inconvenient for him to come forward can also help the umbrella. Do it. There is no shortage of funds for the time being. I got a batch of arms from Anthony and sold them to the tycoons in the Middle East. I made a lot of money. By the way, boss, we have obtained the gambling rights in Siam. The hotel plans to officially open at the end of September. Do you want to attend? Lu. Xinghuai asked with a smile. Jiang Feng shook his head. Forget it. I won't come forward to see this kind of thing. You can just make arrangements here. He doesn't want to step into the front desk yet, and he doesn't want the outside world to know about his relationship with the umbrella company. Of course, this kind of thing cannot be hidden from some organizations. For such organizations, Zhang Feng has no intention of hiding it at all. He just wants to hide it. Most of them. On the other end, Abu quickly got on the line with the Odessa official in charge of the auction, and then took over the Black Sea shipyard without any effort. The total price was 1.4 billion US dollars, and at the same time, the Black Sea shipyard's debt of 200 million US dollars. In addition, tens of thousands of workers from the Black Sea shipyard need to be accommodated. These are things that Jiang Feng and Anthony have discussed before, but they are only operating in the name of Abu. Soon, there was news about the acquisition of the Black Sea shipyard by the Tiangong Group. It spread all over the world and attracted the attention of countless people. However, this has nothing to do with Jiang Feng. He has already set foot on the land of Damao. There is rich underground black gold waiting for him to fish. Do you like this video? Let me know by giving it a thumbs up and leaving a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on my future uploads.